brought to you by Gamevo.com. Get the cheapest game time on the market as well as other Warcraft products. Check out the link in the description below. One of the most versatile spellcasters, mages utilize the arcane in its various forms. From the Eredar to elves to humans, they are some of the most powerful beings within the Warcraft universe. However, which mage is the most powerful in all of history that wasn't on a titan scale? There are a million different mages and many powerful ones across the all of universe. The oldest users of the arcane that we know of are the titans and the Eredar. Right off the bat, the titans are obviously the strongest magic users and despite being watered down recently, these guys were able to cleave a planet in half, rip out the old gods like pimples and order entire worlds, so they're most definitely on a whole different scale that isn't even close to us. In terms of mortal or mortal-like users, much closer to us would be the Eredar. With Legion, we've learned more about them, seeing that they were quite a developed society far before Sargeras ever contacted them. There was Talkiel, the mentor to Archimonde, who was known as one of the most powerful sorcerers, leading a group known as the Wakeners that specialized in conjuration and binding. They used to summon arcane constructs to build the capital of Argus and even built machines to harvest the arcane energies of the planet. Long story short, he started to summon demons and was defeated by his apprentice and the rulers of Argus, Velen and Kil'jaeden. Ultimately, all of them aside from Velen and the Draenei became servants of the Burning Legion. Still, the only reason Sergeras was even interested in them in the first place is that they were known as one of the most intelligent races across the whole of universe and the best mages out there. So you can also add Kill Jaden and Archimonde to the list, but seeing as they were subsequently on a godlike scale and turned into warlocks, I wouldn't really count them. We can see them possibly as mages in the past, but seeing as we know so little about Argus pre-Legion invasion, we can't really know the exact extent of their abilities. Velen on the other hand was also a mage, but ever since he has been a priest, heavily empowered by the forces of the light, so he's most likely rusty with his use of the arcane and even though he has over 25,000 years of experience and is ridiculously ahead of many other casters, this doesn't really mean much. For example, humans are some of the best mages on Azeroth, yet are extremely short-lived when compared to the other races. So let us now turn toward Azeroth and what is much closer to our scale where we have a lot more data. One of the first users were the Blue Dragons and their leader Maligos. While not really a mortal in the technical sense, he was definitely not a god either. We haven't really seen much of him, but without a doubt he is one of the most significant mages across the planet and throughout all of history. From the mortals, it was the night elves that first began seriously utilizing the arcane, building a massive empire and conquering half of the planet. It has been widely known and said for years that Queen Ashara was the most powerful mage that ever lived. This is mostly brought on by the fact that she considered herself equal to Sergeras. Whether she actually was, that definitely isn't the case, but she kinda considered herself close to him and that Manroth felt like she was more powerful than him, which dates back to the War of the Ancients novel. However, with the recent events and how she was defeated, I'm honestly starting to doubt that. 10,000 years ago, she was the absolute strongest and now since she she made a pact with Nazoth, she practiced darker arts and ruled under the seas, you would expect that she would be even more powerful, but that is just not the case. My opinion is that she was in fact the strongest mage ever, but that it was the will of eternity that gave her all the power. As I mentioned at the start of the video, titans are the strongest users of the arcane, will of eternity is the potent plot of an unborn titan, and Ashara could tap directly into it. This source was so powerful that it could potentially summon Sergeras and much of his demons. Nonetheless, while she was extraordinarily gifted, 90% of her power was this source and I believe other talented mages could get just as powerful powerful if not even more powerful if they have absolute power over the well. Now from Ashara and the Highborn, other mages arose in the form of High Elves and ultimately the humans many thousands of years later. Now from these, we had quite a few powerhouses. First are the Guardians, which are a story for themselves, most notably Adrian and her son Medivh. Both were incredibly powerful and both had access to the ley lines of Azeroth, similar to Ashara and the Well. 
Adrian defeated the Avatar of Sargeras and created his tomb. Her son created the Dark Portal and was one of the most relevant characters ever. Not really as a mage, but more as a political and a uniting figure. Now, Guardians themselves are said to have the power of multiple mages, which is completely obvious as they are a part of the council and the others imbue a part of their own power in order to have a single mage that is the most efficient. Other than these exceptions though, there are a few more regular mages that are much more extraordinary than your average wizard. First would be Khadgar, who was the student of Medivh, and despite his relatively young age, he was a crucial part of our campaign on Draenor and defeating the Legion. We have seen him face off Gul'dan as well as summon powerful spells. However, despite his achievements and him being actually strong, his role was also mostly to unite the two factions and he was more of a leader, helping us gather the necessary stuff to battle the demons ourselves. Next to him, there is another extraordinary mage and that is Jaina Proudmoon. Honestly, she has been surprisingly a lot more powerful than we had expected, having the potential to destroy the entirety of Orgrimmar as well as all the other things she had done during the battle for Azeroth. She literally single-handedly saved the Alliance in the Battle of Undercity against an entire Horde army. While she had access to sources, in my opinion she definitely grew up to be one of the most powerful spellcasters that we have ever seen. Now, other than these, there are so, so many mages out there that are also incredibly powerful, from leaders of the Kirentor up to dragons, but none of these were single-handedly powerhouses, so who is the most powerful mage outside of the titans and the other godlike creatures? Well, in my opinion, Jaina Proudmoore with the current power, but if we go back in history it would be Ashara with the help of the Well of Eternity, however if Jaina could tap into the Well directly, I do think she would be a lot more powerful than Ashara. Outside of these, I don't really see this list as a number, but more as in shades and some mage being more powerful than the other, all depending on the circumstances of the situation. Thank you for watching, check out the most powerful warlock by clicking on the screen and also check out the second channel Doron's Academy for videos on real world history and science. See you next time.